back to the Charles Butler Show. I have Mr. James Landreth with me from the uh, Freedom uh, Foundation. And uh, you, go, you can find their work at ff.org, ff.org, and uh, Frontiers of Freedom, Frontiers of Freedom organization. Um, you were talking about the ICC when we left and its role. You know, it, it seems like the... Uh, since last year, the uh, Israeli-Palestine uh, situation has just spiraled downhill, and it's really, you know, the, the world is rallying against Israel for some reason. When the Palestinians, uh, you know, they, they, they start these conflicts by shooting uh, missiles over into Israel, and no one really comes out and says anything about that because Israel's knocking the missiles out of the sky and they're not really causing any harm. But what if Israel didn't have the Patriot system and those missiles were falling in those cities? I had friends over there last year when they were shooting the missiles who were actually in Israel and ducking for cover when these uh, missiles were launched. Right. I mean, <clears throat> you have, and these missiles aren't even shot at um uh, at military targets, they they don't even have a guidance system. They're just lobbed into population centers. Uh, you know, I mean, it's uh, the, the, you know, like it's just it's completely incomprehensible. I mean, we wouldn't put up with that for even a, a nanosecond. But um, oh, if, you know, we don't tolerate Molotov cocktails Mexico being lobbing, uh, missiles into population centers in the United States just for the fun of it. And the fact that we might be able to shoot them down would not change our attitude about the fact that they had been lobbed in the first place. Well, you know, we wouldn't just go, oh, okay, well, we shot that one down, no problem. Well, and, and and yet the world seems to expect that Israel should be just saying, like, it's not a problem. Exactly. But, you know, with, like you said, as the ICC... Um, historically, the United States has been a, an ally of, of Israel, and whether it's been in the UN or in other places, we've uh, kind of always had their back. And it sounds like the administration is uh, formulating. Last week, they talked about how they might not be as supportive in the UN, and there's some fear now that the same thing would happen in the ICC, and that the ICC would be used to essentially accuse Israel of war crimes for defending itself against uh, these things. And it's not to say that there aren't out there, uh, you know, situations where in the international community can't be productive, but the ICC strikes me as a broken organization that's largely um, used to wade in to, uh, you know, in, in a lot of ways the way the UN is used, which is, you know, does the UN do anything to stop people like Putin from uh, taking over uh, Crimea and Ukraine? No. You know, what does it spend its time doing? Beating up on Israel. For what? Defending itself. And the ICC is guilty of the exact same sort of chicanery, which is um, it doesn't actually deal with a lot of the real problems in the world. and Instead, it uh, is critical of uh, countries that are defending themselves. And so, you know, there's been always this fear and this, the threats that the ICC is going to be used to go after the American serviceman. Mm -hmm. uh, and one of the reasons we're not, and we, we've pulled out of countries where we ha you know, were playing a defensive role, is because we couldn't get a, an agreement with the country as to how they, whether they would prosecute our soldiers or not. Well, um, well and, and, you, know, you, just, you can't have a war where mm -hmm. everyone's pretending that well, the, well, that's what Barack Obama did. I mean, look at, you know, we have we have 22 soldiers a day killing themselves. It is unprecedented that we've had this kind of response to soldiers and Marines being in combat. And I have heard, and I said this, I said this like four years ago. It's the rules of engagement that this president is giving folks that uh, are causing them to blow their brains out when, they're, when their friends are being killed by folks and they're trying to go out and kill these people and they have to call and get approval from three people up who are not even on the scene and people back in Washington to kill a guy who's just killed your buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, right. I mean I, I'm going to tell you something. I'm going to tell you something, and I say this in all seriousness. I have absolutely no use for Barack Obama, for Valerie Jarrett, uh, for Leon Panetta. Uh, I, 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 I tell you this, uh, you know, now Barack has called Petraeus back on the scene to try to deal with Iraq. This is the guy who just got convicted of what? Being a felon? Because of Barack's policies? Uh, Petraeus wasn't agreeing with Barack, so he threw him under the bus? 
They launched an investigation on him, just like they did Hillary Clinton. You know, Valerie Jarrett, you know, exposed the emails, uh, the whole email scandal, and he really, Hillary Clinton. Plus, she's launched six other investigations in the State Department on Hillary Clinton. Amazing. Hey, George, we got to do this again soon, my friend. Absolutely. Great to talk with you. It's great talking with you, man. We're going to keep rolling here, but uh, I'll call you back and, and get you back on. Sounds good. All right. Mr. George.